Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Stefania with my channel called Rustic Olive. In today's video, we are going to be doing a video that's a little bit different. We're going to be talking about perfumes that I would wear based on the experience that I get from the perfume for the type of a night date night that I would be going on, if that makes any sense. Okay, so we're gonna try to do this like this. There's six fragrances. Um, I kind of took notes on like why it is that I paired it up with a certain type of a date kind of a thing. So let's see if this works out. For the 25 people that watch me, thank you so much. I love you all. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so Lyra from Xershoff, okay? This is like a first time date kind of a fragrance like if i was going on the first time date with someone and i am not too sure on what to wear because i don't want to wear something that is going to be like scary for the first time you're just kind of kind of getting to know this person kind of a thing but you still want to feel confident for that first date i would probably wear this one this is like that zesty vanilla fragrance where it's like a vanilla but it has that blood orange in there i remember the first time i smelled this i'm like dude it smells like mango con chile like there's just the zestiness from it and it's sexy it's not super loud you will get recognized for it but it's not super loud depending on how much you spray like it's not a super room filling perfume so i think this is perfect for the first date you know like it's bold but not two out there the second one that i want to go off of or talk about is flam from memo paris so this one is like okay first date went well um we're gonna go get ice cream this time around we're just gonna kind of go walk outside there is jasmine in the air like this is one of those where you're gonna stand out someone might notice you he or she might notice you and there's whispers of this in the air where it's just like pleasant but it's not super in your face kind of a thing you're not like in an enclosed space it's more of like an outdoorsy kind of a night date like you're walking through a downtown and there's lights and it's pretty and you're starting to like hold hands, whatever, laugh and push them around or her, whatever. Flong, that's number two. Number three, somewhat similar to Flom. This one is Glamour. So Glamour, I would probably wear Glamour when I'm already feeling a little bit more comfortable with this person. Like, I don't know. We've been kind of dating for a while. And I want to feel really pretty one night because this one is like fruitier. This one is more bold. It lingers in the air. It has a presence. So this one is like, you know what? Like, I want to stand out. I want to be known. I want the people around to kind of know, like, say and say, hey, like, someone smells good in here. Like, that's going to be me. So yeah, you've already come out of your shell at this point. Like it's kind of like the true colors came out. You guys kind of know each other. You dig each other. Like you're confident. You're sexy. You're going to be walking around. That's glamour. That's what I feel this one is. You'll definitely be remembered with this one. And number four, this one would be my Armani Privé Rouge Malachite. So this one would be like when you're already, you've been going out on a few dates. You know each other pretty well. You feel comfortable already. Like you know this might end up at someone's house and it might become a little bit more intimate. So this one, it's a little bit more intimate. You're comfortable with each other. You're still like showing your confidence. Like you're, it doesn't matter if you're in a restaurant. It doesn't matter if you're out at night, like out and about. With this other person like you are just i want to stand out with this one there's like that sexy amber that just lifts this fragrance up from being just a regular white floral beautiful and then we have 
Wittian number two. So this one is the one that is a little bit more fresher. This one's a little bit more fruity compared to the other one that I did in the other video. This one, I think it kind of has like that similar vibe where it's like you're walking at night. You're walking through a park at night. You're going through like you're having a date. You're walking through like gardens or a botanical garden or you're. You're somewhere where you're outdoors and it's okay that you oversprayed because there's like a breeze. There's you guys are walking there. There's movement in the air. It's I don't know. It's beautiful. You're already starting to like hold hands. Let's back it up a little bit. You're holding hands. Like it's that same similar vibe between maybe like these past three. Yeah, this one's fun. I like this. You definitely are dominating if you're wearing strong perfumes like this. Last but definitely not least, this one is Psychedelic Love. So all of the initials kind of look the same. It is a purple bottle. Can you tell? Purple? Yeah, there we go. Purple bottle. Psychedelic Love. This one is for those date nights where you're not outside. These are for the date nights where you're at home. The cozy date nights. Like... Let's order in, let's just dress comfortably, everything's clean in the house, there's maybe like a candlelight going out in the distance, like movie night, like you want to feel cozy, you want to like just wear a throw over you. This kind of like almondy white flower perfume, I think it just kind of works for that type of a date where you're already like super comfortable with each other there's intimacy there's a, like some type of like real deep connection where you're now so comfortable with each other where you're not going out for that one night but you still want to make it special like i feel like psychedelic love would be beautiful for that so yeah like cozy sweater staying at home having dinner candle nice bath just relaxing kind of a date yeah that would be psychedelic love and if you've noticed um throughout all of these perfumes that i just talked about uh with maybe the exception of lyra they all have white flowers as kind of like the theme I feel like white flowers for dates is very beautiful because it's like it's not fruity where it's not like super young and like going kind of like to the beach or something like that. Like these are sensual. There's like something sensual about white flowers that kind of works and they all have different like bases. They all have different um, touches of top notes and stuff like that. So I feel like depending on that ambiance that from like a date. I feel like one of these would match what you're looking for. So anyways, I don't edit my video, so I apologize. These are just like my random thoughts if I was to go on a date. But yeah, anyways, thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.